All right, so looking at our do now here, it tells you to use the what method? Substitution, which is what we did last, yesterday, not yet, last week, yesterday. So step one of substitution is to choose the equation that's either isolated or easy to isolate, right? And that would be this one. It's already by itself. So we already have step one is done for us. Y equals three X minus three, okay? Step two is to take that and substitute it into the other equation. So you're taking all of this and substituting in for the other variable, okay? And it's a Y by itself, not an X by itself. So if X isn't by itself, why are you plugging in for X? You don't, okay? So we're gonna substitute in for Y. So we have two X plus five times three X minus three equals 19. Okay, remember step two is the longest. So we have to distribute, combine, and then isolate. So we already substituted. Now we distribute and we get 2x plus 15x minus 15 equals 19. Now we combine and we get 17x minus 15 equals 19. Now we're gonna isolate x. So to get X by itself, I'm gonna add 15. What I do to one side, I do to the other. And that leaves me with 17 X equals 34. Divide by 17, I get X equals two. So now I know half of my answer is two. Step three is to take what you got here and plug back into step one. So I got X equals what? Two, so where X is, it becomes a two. Step three is plugging back into the first and we get Y equals six minus three. And what is six minus three? Three. So my solution is X comma Y. So my solution is two comma, Three. Okay, I gave you this do now to show you that X, it doesn't always have to be X that you isolate. It can also be Y. Huh? I took, so 